What's going on guys, Nick Hellman here, aka the Crypto Hitman, with a quick Pulse Chain update. Yes, Pulse Chain is still revving, roaring, and moving higher. This thing is just getting going. SEC case is still open on Richard Hart. What happens when he wins that case? Absolute madness. Up several hundred percent off the lows, but look, in the past 24 hours, we are seeing green on PLS. This is the gas token of Pulse Chain. Green on PLSX. This is the deflationary DEX token of Pulse Chain and INC. This is the rewards token of Pulse Chain. Of course, we have Hex. This is like a CD, a bank CD on steroids. Easiest way to sum it up. I know it gets way more complex than that. And the Hexagons hate when I say that, but we need to dumb this down for the average Joes to get involved. Uh, last video I did on Pulse Chain, what was I saying and was I right? I said it was right here on this red candle that this uptrend line needs to hold. It's a really good spot for a bounce because we are oversold. And if the God Whale, Richard Hart, or the OA Wallet is watching, which we know they are, and they're smart at all, which we also know they are, they would be looking to pump this level. Now, the OA Wallet did not inject any more money into the market, but we do know Richard Hart and others started tweeting right near this low, causing this double-digit rally off the uptrend line. Now, in order for this upside target to still be in play, we want to see this uptrend line hold, and we don't want to go below this wave 4, potential wave 4, if you're looking at this Elliott wave count. That would be another... 55% minimum from here to get into this target zone. Now, what happens if PLS goes up 55%? I believe that PLSX outperforms and probably goes up 65%. INC outperforms both and goes up about 70%. And HEX lags a little bit, but does go up about 35%. Now, projects that we've been talking about in this ecosystem that have their liquidity pairings tied to PLS and PLSX in the Pulse Chain ecosystem are exploding like I've been telling you. And if PLS goes up 55%, I expect them to go up triple digits. Yes, over 100%. What projects am I talking about and are you too late to the party? Well, you're definitely later to the party. I've been telling you about these since a 1,000, a 1,200%, and a 2,000% gain. But I still think you are early. And if PLS, in fact, goes up 55%, these will go up by triple digits while paying staking rewards. Now, this is probably... Probably where the maxis of these blue chips and the Richard Hart maxis probably tune out. But listen for a second, guys. I've done this for a long time. I still say in my model portfolio to have 40% in PLSX, 20% in PLS, and the remaining 40% is in various altcoins. Now, why have I said that? And why has my portfolio gone 10x, 20x in the last month? Because I am not just chasing mean coins on Pulse Chain. I'm tracing real utility, utilizing Hart's Law himself and a spider web of liquidity pools with enhanced deflationary token economics to absolutely pump your portfolio. Do you want to start listening? The first one is PTGC, and this is kind of the king. I gave you a buy here. I gave you a buy, a buy, a buy, and I made several videos in this consolidation saying it's only a matter of time before we break out to the upside. Even if you bought the breakout, you are now up 44% and PTGC looks like it is not slowing down. And why is that? The treasury wallet holds over 722 million PLS ready to deploy with buybacks and burn of the PTGC if any whales sell out. This is a current price, about 90,000 US dollars ready to buy and burn the PTGC token if whales decide to take profits. Now you go a step further down the line and you have Alien. Alien is a feeder off of its off of uh, uh, PTGC. I was looking for the breakdown here. In which you have a buy and burn tax. Simply by holding Alien you earn four other tokens. It also buys and burns its own token and adds to the liquidity pool paired with PLS. That means the more volume on this token it enhances your PLS bag because it is buying it and locking it up in liquidity pools. You understand how this is working? Yesterday, a whale decided to dump over $50,000 with the alien, and a, a couple other uh, holders did panic selling $1,000, $3,000, $2,500 dollars bags. And it created a 25% red candle, and look what happened. New all-time highs today. That $50,000 bag with all the slippage, the sell tax, and this red bar 
is now worth fifty-five or sixty thousand dollars today if they just would have held on one more day. This is showing the resilience of Alien and how the liquidity pools work. The more volume that you put into these things, the more buybacks and burns occur, the more staking rewards are given out to reflection rewards are given out to the holders of these tokens, incentivizing them to keep holding for the longer term. This is why we are going up and to the right. Yes, since my buy, it is up over 2,500%, and this could have been you. We had one, we had two, we had three, we had four buys. I even did a full video after this breakout in the retest saying this is a great opportunity. And how? what percentage would you be up on that in a very short period of time? That is already 300% plus reflection rewards since February 17th. The code, the mechanism, it is all working. And it is doing this in the face of a sideways pulse chain. If pulse chain decides to flip bullish and get breaks out to new highs for the recent highs that we just had last month, these things will continue to send. Burn. This is the smallest of the amplifier tokens. I even gave a buy in this one and it is up 86% just since February 22nd. And it pays to be a PTG C holder, just not with the green candles. And just not with the reflection rewards, but yesterday PTG stakers were airdropped a completely free token that now has 161,000 market cap and 32% of the tokens were given to PTG stakers. You had, I did a video for my paid group, patreon.com slash learn crypto to buy in this level. You had hours to buy in this level and you were already up 49% in less than 24 hours. Plus, it has been paying out millions of PTGC as reflection rewards to the holders of this rep token. Now, rep token is the newest one. It is the smallest one. It is the lowest liquidity one. It was given out as an airdrop, but I still think it has great upside. And while we hold it, we earn more PTGC, which continues to rip to higher levels. Let's look at Teddy Bear, the number one meme coin on Pulse Chain. You see, I, bought, I sold it here for small profits, but we did rotate into PTGC, which has been outperforming. Nonetheless, this is still the number one meme coin on pulse chain talked by the likes of b roots ian and some of those guys and it really does look like it is creating a bull flag if that happens we are looking for new all-time highs on bear if a whale b roots is watching this if you can get it above this downtrend line you are looking for an explosive move higher now what why is this interesting a, this brings more eyes over to Pulse Chain. This brings more money into Pulse Chain and into your blue chip holdings. PLS, PLSX, INC, and HEX. But number two, the likes of Atropa and PTGC benefit from a pump and bear because they have large liquidity pools. If bear breaks out, PTGC will go higher. It will be dragged higher by bear. Bots will trade in that liquidity pair, which in fact is burning more PTGC. And then the newest of the meme coins that are being talked about by Beerts and other is Doomer. We bought Doomer as a pure speculative play. We've made, we closed 50% of our position for over 600% gains, but we are looking for another rally. Yesterday, when we got to all-time highs, somebody did cheat out. We do have this sell-off here, but I'm remaining long on my 50% holding because I understand that this is only a 387,000 market cap. Meme coins and meme season is alive and well in Pulse Chain, and these are some of the strongest holders, strongest hands in the entire ecosystem. New chain, new holders, all looking to bring the spotlight on Pulse Chain and onboard more users, more wallets, and more liquidity because they understand the more people over here, the higher their bags can pump. Needless to say, it is very simple to get started on Pulse. All you got to do is use the Pulse Chain bridge, bridge over Ethereum to Pulse Chain completely free, swap your assets for PLS, and then start playing the game. Again, my model portfolio is over in my patreon.com slash learn crypto. <coughs> I can help you get started. I'm allergic to all the Solana boys that are in my DMs. And uh, that is the update on Pulse Chain. Hope you guys have remained bullish because this thing continues to stair step higher and is providing life-changing opportunities right here, even in the midst of a Pulse Chain bear market.